an emergency, they're often the first to arrive on the scene. And what they can do can be the difference between life and death. Today we're going to be learning about the exciting and rewarding career of the paramedic. Uh, my name is Patrick Hussey. I'm the paramedic chief of Station 684 in Prince Rupert. I am an administrator of this station as well as a worker in the field. A uh, paramedic is a person who responds to a call and cares for the sick and injured. No call is alike. You can get anything from the sore toe to the imminent birth. You're everything from that person that has to do a critical intervention to save a person's life, whether it be help them breathe, help them circulate their, their blood flow, um, initiate an IV, or stabilize wounds and or fractures. So my day starts at eight o'clock in the morning and goes till six o'clock at night. And then someone will come in and relieve me at six o'clock at night and work till eight o'clock in the morning. First thing you would do is get a report from the night crew, whether the car needs any equipment. And then you'd go out and check your car, make sure everything's there ready for your shift. So what exactly are we gonna be doing today? Uh, so today you're my uh, pretend partner. We're going to be driving to uh, imitation call and we're going to pick them up quickly and uh, do the assessments in the back and take them to the hospital. To go into a scene you must ensure that the scene is safe. You also have to be aware of your surroundings to make sure that the way is, is clear and access and egress to the patient so you can uh, perform quality patient care and uh, ensure that the patient gets to the hospital in a quick and timely manner. We're going to initiate the picking up of Mike who will pretend is an accident victim. Yep. And he needs to be lifted from the ground onto the stretcher. Part of the job is utilizing everything in your means to get the call done in a quick and timely manner. Okay? So you're going to grab the yellow clamshell stretcher and the orange bag. Make sure you put them all the way out to the side. There you Here we are. Okay, so you want to bring the one side on to the other side of the patient. Okay. And again, make sure all the straps are out of the way. Okay? Lift with your legs. Okay. That's it. And okay, we're gonna get ready to load. Yep. So bring the patient up to the uh, loading pin. Okay. And we're gonna lift in. One, two, three, lift in. Okay, pull back, we're locked. There's several ways of becoming a paramedic. You can uh, go and take an EMR course, which is an emergency medical responder course. Secondly, you can apply when you're 19 years of age to a PCP level course, which is a primary care level course. That course entails four months of schooling and three months of on-car practicum. And that's how you get into a station as a part-time paramedic. From there, I could uh, go into supervisory positions and superintendent's positions. You can work other jobs with this service. You can have a full-time job Monday to Friday and just do this job on weekends. There's a lot of opportunity to diverse your schedule and still participate in, in uh, um, the community and, and providing patient care for the community. So we've loaded our patient in the back of the ambulance and we're gonna continue on with assessments. Mm -hmm. We'd uh, look at his head, make sure that there's no lumps, bumps or bruises and assessments all the way down, chest, listen to his chest with our auscultation. You gotta be a great communicator. Because you're Absolutely. listening to everything that they're Absolutely. telling you. So we're treating the patient to the best of our abilities on route to the hospital and making sure that the patient is prepped and ready to be accepted by the emergency ward and uh, hopefully the information's relayed so that they can quickly assess medications, allergies, and uh, past medical history, okay. all in the efforts to um, uh, make sure that timely patient care is, is uh, completed there as well. You don't have to um, save a life every single time you go out there. You showing up on the scenes, it's that look on that patient's face when they're like, you've, you've come for me, you're, you're here to help me, and, and I feel better. And that's what it's all about for me. It's a great job to, to be in, and um, I wouldn't uh, give it up for the world. Well, thank you very much for showing me around, Pat. Thank you for coming out. Once again, I'm Brian for Career Trek, reminding you that this career could be yours. See you next time.